Good morning, everybody. It finally is Monday, the 23rd of March, 2020. Yeah, I've advanced uh, Mondays to yesterday, and, well, here's a fresh one for this morning, and I hope that you are doing well. A little bit of gloomy weather will be moving into our area this week, sad to say. Yes, the washing machine is still down. I'm waiting for a part to come in again. Oh, joy, oh, joy, oh, joy. Anyway, it is time to get on the topic of the day. And I think it's interesting um, to look at uh, events that occur with the uh, uh, pandemic and to look at um, social trends and look at things that uh, may change and change in a major way here. One of the things that I've been thinking about is, of course, Hollywood is going to take a huge hit here with a major reduction in uh, programming, the uh, cost of program will be reduced dramatically, potentially looking at a 30 plus uh, unemployment rate. We'll go far to digging into the entertainment money that people have spent in the past for sure, $20 movie tickets, $25 IMAX experiences, Disneyland, uh, you know, two, $200 a day or $200 for a multi-day pass. I mean, it's just going to look like ridiculous prices. So a lot of things are going to change. One thing that uh, the title is, what's old again may be new again, is one thing that may make a uh, comeback uh, for Hollywood, really stimulate some things, is the old drive-in movies. Yes, yes, yes. Now think about it. How many people in the coming uh, months and possibly a year or so are going to want to crowd themselves into movie theaters with other people. Uh, you can imagine during a movie, somebody coughs and hacks, and the next thing they know that somebody imagines that, oh man, here we go again, the next wave of the virus. People are going, let's face it, people are going to be very skittish about social situations. It's a fact of life. It's going to remain this way for quite a while, coupled with the shock waves of uh, economic uh, downturn, a severe one here. We're going to see uh, old become new, and drive-in movies may become the, uh, the new thing in the country. There'll be a lot of empty spots. Uh, a lot of malls will be closed and closed down uh, forever. A lot of small businesses are not going to make it. So there'll be a lot of uh, space there to erect a simple theater, put up some fencing around, put a ticket booth, and voila, the next thing you know, throw a few speakers, Wi-Fi speakers, Bluetooth into cars, and uh, dish out a little popcorn, and you've got yourself uh, a nice evening in the comfort of your own car there, sitting there and watching a movie. Can you imagine? Kind of puts a smile on my face when I think about uh, packing Missy Jen into the old wheels there and going out and watching a, uh, watching a drive-in movie. I think that that could be a, a lot of fun. Some other things will be changing, too. It's not of too much concern to other people, but uh, floor trading on the New York Stock Exchange may finally come to an end. It was waning anyway over the years, but uh, today marks the first day in history that there will not be uh, floor trading on the exchange. Everything will be done electronically, and we'll see how it handles things. I mean, that's big 200 and some year history of trading on the exchanges, and to see something like this happen is really unprecedented. It won't get a lot of attention in America, but I have a feeling things, uh, once they switch over to that all electronic and go for a long period of time, it's kind of the things in my mind that probably won't come back again. You'll probably the days of seeing the that um, evening uh, news footage of people uh, rocking around the floor of the New York Stock Exchange may be over. But uh, yeah, the drive-in theater, the drive-in theater experience, things that can keep people isolated and yet provide entertainment and amusement. It ain't going to be standing in line at uh, Disneyland or going on the going on rides and fingering the safety bars. Okay, let's be real about things. A lot of things are going to change in the entertainment world, and it's going to be a very different landscape in the uh, future. What will survive? It's an interesting exercise to think about, but uh, you have to really imagine that there's a good chance that, uh, well, the drive-in experience could be making a big comeback. Happy Monday, everybody.